Welcome to the National Literacy Agency online storytelling program. Today I have a story from India for you and the title of this story is The Fisherman and the Genie. So it is story time. You look and you listen. Well done. Once upon a time there was a fisherman. He was a very good and humble man. He lived with his wife and three boys in a fishing village. He went fishing every day, very early in the morning. One day he decided to make rules for himself and he said that he would throw the net in the water, the fishing net in the sea, for only four times, and that would make the day. So he was very, very early on the shore, and just before sunrise, he pushed his boat to the sea. He put on an engine, and he went out far, far, far out into the sea. It was time to throw his net for the first time. So he threw his net on the right hand side and he waited very patiently. Sometimes he pulled the net up just to see if there was something a little bit heavy. He pulled and he let go. He pulled and he let go until he felt something that was really heavy. He was very pleased. Fish! he shouted and he pulled up the net into his boat. Pulled and he pulled and he pulled until all the net was in the boat. But at the end of the net, there was the carcass of a donkey. Ah, oh, what would I need a carcass for, of a donkey for? Oh dear, he threw it back into the sea. He took out his tools and he had to mend the net because it had quite some big holes now. Well, it was time to throw the net for the second time. So this time he threw his net on the left hand side. He waited and he waited and he waited because he was very patient, of course. Sometimes he pulled, but then he let go again. He pulled and he let go. He pulled until it was a little bit heavy. And he pulled the net into the boat. He pulled, pulled, pulled. And what do you know? At the end of the net there was mud. Stones, pebbles, shells. I don't need mud. I don't need pebbles and stones. I don't need... Well, the shells I might need. So he kept the shells but threw away all the mud and all the stones and all the pebbles. And he washed the net in the sea. He washed it thoroughly. And then it was time to throw it again for the third time. This time on the right, of course. So there he threw the net. And he waited and he waited because he was a very patient man, of course. Sometimes he pulled the net and let it go again. He pulled and let it go again. And he pulled and said, Ah, 
I think there is fish now. And very quickly, he pulled the net into the boat. And in the net, there was a sack, a very big one. And he looked at the sack, at the sack and said, I wonder what's in the sack. He opened it very gently because there was a rope tied around the top of it. And when he opened it, he found rubbish. Oh, rubbish! Why do people throw their rubbish in the sea? No, 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 that's not good! Villains! He was very angry, but he did not throw the sack back into the sea. He left it in the boat, so he could dispose of the rubbish as he should when he got back home. He was tired, he was thirsty, so before he threw his net for the fourth time, and this time on the left hand side, he had a drink. He poured some water and he drank. He was ready to throw the net. And so he did. He waited and he waited. He sometimes pulled, but then let go. He sometimes pulled and then let go. Until he could feel that there was something in the net. So he pulled it very quickly inside his boat. He pulled and he pulled and he pulled. And he found a pot. Inside the net at the very bottom, there was a pot. A pot that he had never seen any pot like that before. He looked at it and he said, I've never seen such a pot. And the lid, the lid seemed very, very strong. It was made of lead, very heavy lead. And there was a seal on top of the lid. Maybe somebody very important put that seal on. Maybe a king? Surely someone who was important. At first the fisherman thought that he would sell that pot. But then he said, No, I would like to have a look inside the pot first. And then I will decide whether I should sell it or not. So he took a knife and he went round the lid. And when he did, he opened the lid. He lifted the lid to open the pot. And out of the pot came smoke. Very thick and dark black smoke. The smoke went up in the sky. It whirled and whirled on the sea. He couldn't see anything. He was frightened until the smoke like came together and it became a genie. Ha 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 I am finally free. After three decades, I am finally free. He looked at the boat and the fisherman was still very much afraid. He looked up at the genie. Tell me. 
Tell me, little man inside the boat, how do you wish to die? And the fisherman looked up at the genie. Did you say die? Die? I have just saved you. And the genie laughed again. It was a very mean laugh. <laughs> but I have been in that pot for three decades. For the first decade I said, if anyone should set me free, I would give him or them all the wishes they desired. But nothing happened. And for the second decade I said, Well, if I am set free from the spot, During this second decade, I will give whoever sets me free at least three wishes. But so many years passed. One decade, the second decade, the third decade passed too. And I said, three decades in this pot, too much. Whoever sets me free now will have only one wish. And that is, he or they would be able to choose how they want to die. <laughs> Tell me, little man in the boat, how do you want to die? And the fisherman was very, very wise. And he said, oh, mighty, mighty Genie, you look grand. Your colour is beautiful. I just can't believe that you came out of this little pot. I did, I did, said the genie. I was in that pot because I was very unfaithful to my superior. And that is what I got as a punishment. But now that you have set me free. <laughs> but still, my genie, I, I just can't believe that you were in this pot. Be honest with me. Be honest. Where did you come from? But I told you. The pot, of course. I'm a genie. I can do anything. And the fisherman said, Show me. Show me, genie. Because I don't believe you. And the genie was full of himself. And he turned into smoke again. Thick, black, dark smoke. And whirled in the sky, on the sea. And back into the pot. And the fisherman was only too quick to take the lid and put it on the pot again. And the genie shouted, Set me free! Set me free, little man on the boat! But the fisherman said, Ha! Ah, now it's time for me to laugh. No, I will not set you free. I will not because you wanted to kill me. I promise I won't do any harm. No, genie, I don't trust you now. 
and the fisherman put his engine on and he even went further out into the sea very very far away and he took the pot and he threw it far out into the sea genie i will tell all the fishermen where you are so they will never come and throw their nets on this side of the ocean and you will stay there for many many more decades and the fisherman just turned his boat back home he told the story to his wife and his three children who oh, they were so happy that he was safe and that the genie did not kill him after all and his wife she said oh my husband these shells these are precious shells i shall make a nice necklace and we will sell it tomorrow we can make some money don't you worry my husband it was a very happy family and sometimes the fisherman caught fish sometimes he caught something else but at least he was free from the genie so you listen us you be very careful don't boast too much because you never know where you might end and that is the end of my story today i do hope that you have enjoyed it so until the next time bye bye for now